Hello everybody, it is me, SuperDuck Love Farm Awards here, and today we are back with another profile video. This time, we're going to be going over Mega Dragonzilla. Now, for those of you who don't know who Mega Dragonzilla is, she is the final mate to Mega Godzilla. And she's not related to Mega Drago Goji. She's not related to him at all. Because I said this before in the profile video, he is related to Mega Female Snow Godzilla. Anyways, Mega Drago Goji. No, Mega Drago Goji. Mega Dragonzilla. She was born. Like, she wasn't really born, she was created. She was created in a lab by the humans, well mainly, I think it was Apex. Apex created Maya Dra Dragonzilla to think that she can be the only thing that can stop Maya Godzilla. However, once when she reached a full grown adult, she, re she retaliated and escaped. She has been on her own and tried to find her place in the world. Because all she was trying to do is find her place in the world. In the world. That was until she met Megazoa. When she met him, it was not a very pleasant meeting at first. The meeting kind of went out like this. She saw him and they started fighting. Wondering who attacked first. Mega Dragonzilla, she attacked first. Because again, she's confused, she's scared, she doesn't know what's her place in the world. She's trying to find her place in the world. So you gotta think, she's just trying to find peace. She's just trying to find happiness. She's just trying to find her role. All she wants is peace. Eventually, man got the plans to convince her to calm down. And got her to come with him. So... She reluctantly agreed, and came with Megazord. He gave her a place on Omega Island, and
She got along with almost every male monster she encountered. And finally found her place in the world. She found her home, within a way. She found where she belonged. And eventually she became Agatha's final mate. His final queen. Then the way the she is she has the title as the final queen of the Mega Monsters. And for now, she and Mega Council do not have any children. Not yet at least. So let's go on go ahead and go over her design and abilities. Her design is basically more of a mixture of red death, well not really, because it's mainly the front well it's mainly the um her body is more like the reference of red death's body. And a little bit of smile, which is her face. With a little bit of Godzilla 2004 in there as well. She has Godzilla-like arms and Godzilla-like dorsal spines on her back. As usual, she has her typical dragon abilities, but carries some tip ironic Godzilla slash well, mega Godzilla powers. It's mainly um like GMK Godzilla like powers where she can absorb electricity and use it as her ultimate power. And like Mega Godzilla, she has a very fast regeneration ability because the scientists actually stole a little bit of King Ghidorah's DNA. So she's half dragon, half Mega Godzilla, half Ghidorah. And her height is around 319.10 meters. So, yeah. And her personality, and more like the calm, aggressive side. So then way she's just like her sister-in-law, Mega Thunder Godzilla. She's both aggressive sometimes and calm sometimes, but it's mostly calm. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. Like, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.